First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash, and the all still those great millstones, while it is truth. And also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of day lesson is that the day come upon you unawares. So I like to say, Shalom, to all our listeners and learn. Hope to swept you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So I have a, uh, before we start today, let's have a quick Google search on a uh, black swan event or uh, black swan theory. And it reads, it said black swan event, high impact event that is difficult to predict under normal circumstances, but that in retrospect appears to have been, uh, inedible uh a black swan event is uh expected and therefore difficult to prepare for but is often rationalized with the benefits of hindsight as having been unavoidable so one thing about it is the, the things that's getting ready to take place are very unavoidable and one thing about it as it is written it shall come to pass so we're seeing that these what Prophecies are constantly what lining up just like clockwork, you know, one event behind another. And one thing about it is that a black swan event will come upon you what unawares, come upon you what all of a sudden. Also, what without warning, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of things gonna catch a lot of people what off guard. You know what I'm saying? So right now a lot of people are not watching. You know, they are they are constantly what sleeping, you know, they get rocked back to sleep from what the left hand side, you know. A lot of people what are watching sports. A lot of people get prepared for this wicked uh uh New Year's, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you know, in twenty twenty four they uh this black swan event you know, they saying that a lot of things could take place. You know, for example, you know, of a black swan event is a what? Uh, another what? Pandemic. Also, what? A great economic collapse. You know, it's also uh, what? World War Three. You know what I'm saying? Nuclear attack. You know what I'm saying? Terrorist attack. You know, a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? We're already seeing that this, uh, that, uh, uh, that the U.S. is divided. You know, America is divided, which in fact is Babylon the Great. And also we seeing that, you know, everywhere we look, events behind events, you know, uh, also another uh, black swan event, well, a bank collapse. Also, what this digital society, this MOTB, this grain of rice, all these are black swan of events that are unavoidable, what, inedible, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? You know, just like I said, the Lord word would not return to him void. So we seeing that these things are constantly fast approaching. And, you know, we're seeing that this uh, CBS, I think, uh, reporter, she uh, was saying that, you know, it, it will be a black swan event. So we already know <clears throat> what happened back in uh, 20, uh, I think it was 2020. I think it was when they the first, what, C-19 uh, came to pass. You already know we came out with masses and also they brought forth that, you know what, that hokey pokey. So, so you know, one thing about it, so we already know that, uh, something is cooking. Things is something is coming, you know, and it's fast approaching. We knowing that, you know, things are getting ready what to escalate. We are seeing that things are what uh, intensify, you know, it already what another black swan event, what cyber attacks. Also, we know what's going on on the what southern border, you know, whether it's been engineered or manufactured, it's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The Lord is in perfect control. And one thing about it, we already know that we are coming to the end of this year and going into this uh, new year, which in fact is 2024. So there's a lot of what predictions, you know, a lot of prophecies are getting ready is come to get ready to come for us. We already knowing that uh this NWO is getting ready to come into place. We're seeing that things are fast approaching. Also, you know, uh the end of the dollar, you know, a lot of things are happening. Uh also what the brick uh uh nation get ready to uh uh start their uh they uh brick currency is already is I think it's already uh had they uh already it's online if I'm not mistaken. But one thing about it is that we seeing all these events like Constantly taking place left and right, you know, uh, shit, World War Three update, you know, we see what's going on in Israel, Hamas, you know, see what's going on with uh, Ukraine and Russia, you know, China and Taiwan, a lot of things are constantly picked, airstrikes over there in, uh, over there in, uh, uh, I think it's in uh, uh, Syria, Yemen, you know, different ports over there uh, in the so-called Middle East, you know, a lot of things are constantly picking up, the Lord is what, it's gathering the nation, also is. It was reports that uh, North Korea uh, is constantly doing uh, missile uh, uh, testing, you know what I'm saying, constantly testing out their uh, 
uh, uh, uh, capabilities. So we already know that things are rising all around us. Tensions are right. Threats are constantly growing. Evils are growing. And one thing about it, you know, you, you have to seek the Lord right now because one thing about it is that, hey, it's right on it's right on schedule. You know, it's time to what to get your house in order. Get your mind right. Because hey, we're coming upon this time, you know. We and one thing about it, we're seeing that the days are evil and it constantly increase. It's nothing going back the same. These black swan events are taking place right before our eyes. So we know that 2024 is gonna be a hell of a ride. We also we hoping that it be the what the second coming of our Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? Our, our Lord and Savior, which in fact is Yahweh Shah Amasiyak. You know, you know, he's getting ready to return. We know that the what the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. We're seeing that he's visiting the earth that he created. Also, our salvation is at the door. So hey, one thing about it is that hey man, we're watching, we're praying, we're hasting his great and glorious return. So we hey man, we're here. So these prophecy. They're speaking loud and clear right now. Cyber attacks, and that's another one. You know, so a lot of things come. Famine of the world just put out one yesterday. You know, a lot of things, you know, these black swan events, they'll get ready to take place. You know, something that is what unavoidable is coming. You know what I'm saying? What they, there's nothing you can do about it. It is it's, it's going to happen. Lord is getting ready to usher in the kingdom of heaven. We are very, very excited. We are very close. But one thing about it, we got to go through this last and final uh, stage before we can get to it. The evil is sown. And one thing about it is that, hey, when we're seeing it happening right before our great tribulation, great persecution, great death and destruction is upon us. And one thing about 2024 is they're already saying a whole lot of things are getting ready to happen. You know, and one thing about it, the opportunity is now to seek the Lord. And how do you seek the Lord? Through what? Through his mouthpiece, through the prophet. The one that they what? Is signing and crying left and right, warning you of what? A war. Warning you of an evil time that we have never seen before. Warning you of what? Pestilence. Warning you of what? Tribulation. Persecution. A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. Either you will hear or either you will forbear. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is uh, that the day come upon you unaware. So I have a few short videos and after the videos, we will start the lesson and I hope that you will get edified. 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. This is a national security event with high impact. That's very hard to predict. Um, there are a number of cons uh, concerns that I have that factor into that. And not only this uh, sort of enduring heightened threat level that we're facing, uh, the wars in Israel, also Ukraine. And we're so divided in this country in ways that we haven't seen before. And I think that just creates fertile ground for our adversaries like North Korea, China, and Iran. And that's what uh, concerns me most. Here goes the World War Three news. Uh, oh, shoot! We have North Korea releasing a video of when they launched their ICBM, their intercontinental ballistic missile that made the United States, South Korea, and even Japan mad. Listen to this. Protesters in Finland waiting for two U.S. ships to dock to stop them from docking there. This is part of their protests to show their solidarity with the Palestine. We also have Israel doing an airstrike after the Hezbollah launched 100 rockets at Israel. We also have Turkey launching major airstrikes in Iraq and Syria. <laughs> We have Ukraine that got a bullseye in Crimea as well as they hit a landing ship, a rushing landing ship. Here's another angle. More strikes on the Lebanon, of course. And then we got the Iron Dome in action. Can you imagine going outside hearing that? Wow. We have Russia upping their trade with China as the trade with the United States plummets to a three-decade low. We had Turkey that also hit 70 sites that was linked to Kurdish groups that was in Syria or Iraq. And this is in retaliation for killing 12 Turkish soldiers. 
We have Putin warning South Korea and Japan for grave consequences. South Korea because of the sanctions on Russia, Japan because of their aid for Ukraine. They are also saying the United States is starting trouble in the Red Sea, as India is threatening to retaliate for two of their vessels getting hit. Anyways, more news next, guys. Breaking news coming out that a migrant caravan of 6,000 strong is heading to our U.S. border as the threat of terrorist attacks is at an all-time high. Warnings coming out from Congress and from the FBI that there is a public safety warning for the holidays related to the Israel-Hamas war taking place right now. And as we're hearing that the conflict in the Middle East could be bringing sleeper cells into the United States that want to issue attacks and wreak havoc on the American people. And we are now seeing these record number of entries into the United States illegally. And this comes as the Border Patrol is also saying that there is a surge in crossings that is overwhelming their resources and reports coming out just recently that those entering are being caught and then being released given court dates to check back in in the year 2031 so essentially everybody that's entering at this time they are getting access to the united states and the concern is that there are many of these that should not be here that could cause harm to the american people now i'm going to be sharing with you the latest on this just coming out so that way you so we seeing that, you know, these events are constantly taking place, you know, black swan event or what black swan theory or what order out of chaos. So we already knowing that, hey, man, we're not ignorant of Satan devices. So we'll start today. lesson, a quick lesson to the spirit. And I hope that you get edified. We'll start off in second area, chapter 14, and we'll start at verse uh, 13, uh, second area, chapter 14 and verse 13. And it reads that, said, now, therefore, set thy house in order. And reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. So one thing about it, you know, get yourself together, examine yourself, get your get your house in order. You know, and one thing about it, you know, say, hey, hey man, one thing about it, we get ready to come upon a battle. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said, you know, make ye ready to the battle. You know, so called that battle is what is Jacob trouble, the hour of temptation. You know, so time to get your house in order. You know, get the right mindset. You know, what I'm saying? build up your faith. You know, and one thing about it, you know, you know, examine yourselves. You know, hey, amen. Hey, we're here, man. You know, if you don't have your faith, if you're lacking anywhere, ask the Lord for uh, a increase. You know, one thing about it, if you are a part of the elect, so we see it right here, man. It's time to get your house in order. Let's read this again. And also a renounced corruption. You know what I'm saying, man? It's at the door. Uh, second area, chapter 14 and verse 13 said, Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Verse 14 said, Let go from thee martyr thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. So one thing about it, you know, a lot of our people, you know, still have the martyr thoughts, you know, the damn wicked holiday, you know, still talking about uh, growing, trying to establish something here, you know, talking about New Year's revolution, anniversary, uh, talking about, you know, uh, buying another, uh, uh, some land or some property, you know, uh, talk, chasing the bag, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Lord ain't giving a damn about none of that. So if you're of the world, you know, you're going to die. You know, we constantly want you left, right? You got to be seeking your true power. You know what I'm saying? Hey, one thing about it is that, you know, uh, it's coming, whether you believe it or not. So many will be taken in a great number. You know, it's time to let go of the mortal thought. Don't be worrying about what's going on in this world. You know, worry about if you're a part of the elect. You know, one, one thing about it, you don't even have to worry about that because everyone one is standing in their lots so lock it and one thing about it is that hey man we seeing it hey man we're here so don't you know don't put off from day to day because you know hey the time is constantly winding up we seeing it happening right before our eyes you know uh, you know what I'm saying let go of the weak nature you know it's so a lot of people gonna be weak when that time of trouble come you're gonna be you know be bugged out of their mind they're gonna be like blind men you know what I'm saying they're gonna be what traveling like a woman with child you know hey man food shorty you know what I'm saying hey man a lot of things are getting ready to have starvation you know, uh, your, 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 your necessity, your way of life is getting ready. It, it's come, you know, everything is getting ready. Uh, all of a sudden, the, the rug is getting ready to be snatched off from under you. So a lot of people right now are eating good. They're drinking good. You know, they're going on with their daily lives. You know, have shelter. You know, they're safe. You know what I'm saying? One day, uh, uh, they have a, what, a, a fine family. You know what I'm saying? Have what, a great bank account. But all those things are getting ready to be taken away from you. Everyone is getting ready to be tried. It's called the hour of temptation. Also, Jacob's trouble. You know, so hey, one thing about it is, hey, man, the battle is getting ready to, to start. All hell is getting ready to break loose. So let's read this again. Uh, Second Edward chapter 14, verse 14, he said, Let go from thee mortal, mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put 
off now the weak nature. Verse 15, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Verse uh, 16, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. We're seeing it right now. Verse 17 said, for, for look how much the world shall be weaker through aid. So much the more shall evils, evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So one thing about it, we're seeing that these what evils are growing. You know, we're seeing that, you know, we're coming upon a very uh, 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 perilous time. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, we got to what? Redeem the time wisely. Be circumspect. Knowing what time that we're living in. And one thing about it, hey man, we're here. Uh, verse 18, it said, For the time is fled far away, and leasing or lying is hard at hand. For now hasten the vision or the prophecy or the signs of the time to come which thou hast seen. So, hey, man, it is speaking. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. Say, hey, man, the end is being manifested right before our eyes. Obvious. It is clear that we're living in the end time, real time. So now let's go here to uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 36. Let's go here. Something I want to get out of here. Ecclesiastes, just a quick lesson. Please ask us chapter 36. Please ask us chapter 36. And we'll start at verse 7. Please ask us chapter 36 and verse 7. It said, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. That's what we want the Lord to do. You know, that indignation going to righteous anger. You know, we want the Lord to come and lay this place down. We want the Lord to... To uh, take all these governments down, you know, we want the Lord to show up and show out. That's what we're waiting on. Hey, man, the Lord's get ready to do a mighty work. All our adversary, including the two thirds, Lord's get ready to take them out and destroy them. Hey, man, we cannot wait. Verse eight, it says, "Shake the time short. Remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works." And I about no Lord is what accelerating time for what the elect say. He said, you know, say the Lord said, you know, say for the elect say. Those days shall be shortened. So we seeing that the Lord is what is, is, is accelerating the time. We, you know, we, we telling the Lord, hey man, hey, we're down with Babylon, the great DTA. We ready for this place to go. You know, the Lord declare, we declaring the Lord what wonderful works. You know, hey man, the Lord is getting ready to come with what great glory and great power, man. Hey man, we're here. Verse 9 said, let him that escapes be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. Hey man, that's what we, that's what we longing for. Verse 10 says, smite and sunder the heads uh, of the rulers of the heathens that say there is none other but we, you know what I'm saying? The one that's walking in, in great pride, the most proud, what Esau eat them, you know? And though they set their uh, nest on high, the Lord's going to what? Bring him low, you know what I'm saying? That's where we at, you know what I'm saying? So we're seeing all these things uh, happening, you know? They say black swan event, all the out of chaos, but we all knowing that this is all is happening through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh The Lord is, we're in that transition of the power, we're seeing it taking place, you know? So things are getting ready, get very dark. Things that get ready to get very what perilous, you know, a time of trouble that we have never seen before. Hey, man, in the middle of the Lord, we're signing and crying left and right. We don't want that blood on our hands. So, hey, man, we're here. So now let's go back to uh, Second Aries chapter 16. Let's go here. Just random scriptures. Second Aries chapter 16. And we'll start up at verse 32. Second Aries chapter 16 and verse 32. And it reads, that, and the earth shall be laid waste. And the fear thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her path shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there through. Hey, man, we're coming upon that time. You know, hey, this place will be no inhabitant left. And also, when uh, all these things go to happen, these uh, what they call so called black swan event or automatic chaos, you know, we already know that one event behind another, you know, a domino effect. So this land is going to be like a wasteland. It's going to be like a third world country. You know what I'm saying? Banks collapsing. You know what I'm saying? No food, no water. You know, no internet, no shelter, you know, poverty is going to set in, you know, starvation is going to set in, you know, great death and mourning and vaccination of spirit. That's what we're coming upon, you know, you know, and also, you know, we're knowing that, hey, man, hey, man, it's going to be uh, a lawless time. Uh, verse 33 said, uh, the virgin shall mourn having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn having no husband. Uh, their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Verse uh, 34 said, in the wars shall, shall, shall their bridegroom be destroyed and their husbands shall perish 
of famine. So one thing about it, so in the wars, the World War Three, so a lot of people gonna go off into this final war and they're not coming back. And also, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people gonna perish of the famine. You know, the sown places is be get ready to become unsown, you know. And you seeing what's going on in the truck industry, seeing about our ports, we're seeing that they're constantly laying off, you know, and seeing people are losing their jobs and all those uh different things. And a lot of people are great desperation. It's getting ready to set in. A lot of people are going to what trust and depend in what in this system, and it shall go into their what hand and pierce it. You know what I'm saying? That what that grain of rice. You know what I'm saying? No more buy it and sell it unless you take it under your skin. So and also in the wars. You know, once again, you know, World War Three. You know, and that famine is coming. You know, so all these things it's coming left and right, man. We seeing it. You know, man. You know, so a lot, the body count is getting ready to be great once again. Verse thirty-five is here now. These things and understand that ye servants of the Lord. Verse 36, behold, the word of the Lord received it. Believe not the gods whom the Lord spake. Verse 37 said, behold, uh, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Verse 38 said, and when and as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her uh, birth, great pains could pass her womb which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Verse 39, it says, Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing that these plagues are not slacking down. You know, we're seeing that, you know, these uh, scourges are constantly, what, increasing. We're seeing that things are constantly, uh, evils are constantly growing. We're seeing things are rising up, you know, we're seeing things are getting ready to escalate. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we're seeing all what? Hell is getting ready to break loose. So we right, it's right at the door, you know what I'm saying? All we're waiting for is one event to happen that it's going to set everything off. Amen. And we kind of wait. Rejoice ye heaven. Verse 40, it said, O my people. Hear my words, make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils, uh, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So one thing about it, we're going to trust and believe in the Lord. We're going to lean and depend on him. Well, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that we're seeing that the battle is getting ready to start. That is what the hour of temptation, uh, Jacob's trouble, a time of trouble that we've never seen before. And one thing about it that, you know what I'm saying, we'll, we'll be like a pilgrims upon the earth. When you go in that word, pilgrims, you know, they're moving from place to place, you know, like a nomad, you know, and through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, I shout, Lord will provide for also we know that what? That supernatural intervention is getting ready to come into play. You know, Daniel chapter 12, the archangel of Michael is getting ready to stand up for the chair of Israel. Also, Isaiah chapter, uh, uh, I think it's 59 and 19, where it said the enemy is getting ready to come in like a flood, what that military flood, they, this silent invasion. You know, we're seeing that it's all, these sleeper cells are all in place, but the Lord already has his own sleeper cell. They call it what? The 144, the super soldiers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So all these things are getting ready to take place, threats, you know, also all over the place, you know, rumors of terrorist attacks everywhere, you know, so we're seeing, so in those even, make, you know, get the right mindset, you know what I'm saying? Get prepared because, you know, we get ready to go down that road. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, it is light uh, at the end of the tunnel. And one thing about it, that is what the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So we, we're very close to these times and we're very excited. So now, let's go to our last and final script. We'll close out. Luke chapter 21. <clears throat> Luke chapter 21 and uh, verse 34. We close out here. Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. And it reads, really said, and take heed to yourself. Uh, lest at any time your heart or your mind be overjoyed with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and that so that the day come upon you unaware. So all of a sudden, you know, it'll come upon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you're not prepared, you know what I'm saying? Uh, catch you off guard, you know, and one thing about it, that's why Lord said you got to be always watching, praying, you know what I'm saying? Cease. Uh, 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 praying without ceasing, you know, a lot of these things come, meditate day and night, you know, you know, let go of this, uh, this world, you know, but a lot of people love it here and they're getting ready to die here. And we constantly warning you left and right. Amen. We don't want that blood on our hand. We're seeing that the Lord is doing a mighty work any given day. You know what I'm saying? The clock is ticking. We're running out of time. And also the Lord's getting ready to bring forth this judgment. The Lord's getting ready to execute judgment. Amen. Vintage is mine, says the Lord. The Lord said, I will repay. We read upon these times. You know what I'm saying? We cannot wait, man. The Lord's getting ready to what? To set everything back into order. Verse 35, it said, For as a snare or a trap shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So one thing about it, it's going to be a global event. You know what I'm saying? One thing, if we constantly warn you left and right, even everyone on the planet 
is going to affect and no one is going to escape the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You don't have one thing about it, they either you're part of the elect or you're part of the two thirds. So everyone is standing in their lots, amen. There's nothing you can do about it. As it is written, it shall come to pass. The Lord's word will not return to him void. We're seeing it happening right before our The Bible is a true book. Verse 36 says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, hey, we we're very close to that time. We're seeing that, hey, the prophets are speaking loud and clear. The signs of the times are here. We're seeing that things are constantly, what, picking up, arising. We're seeing, what, threats, terror threats, rumors, mischiefs, all sorts of things are happening left and right every day. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is accelerating time. We're seeing that, hey, man, we're getting very excited. We're we are rejoicing. Hey, man, the Lord is getting ready to put us back. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. Amen. One thing about it, we are so very close. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is that the day come upon you unawares. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.